Hello everybody, and we've got a, looks like a surprise flash animation, just kind of out of nowhere here. So, yeah, <laughs> don't really know what to expect from this, because just, the, our lead up is, I am a very shrewd businesswoman, uh, okay. <laughs> oh, well, let's see what we're going to get into, let's see what we're getting into. Okay. I think I see where we're going with this. <laughs> this looks very familiar. Alright, and turn the volume down a bit. <laughs> We've all heard this music plenty of times by now. Is that actually turning it down? Hmm, I don't think that's actually turning it down. Let's turn it down OBS then. We've all heard elevator stuck plenty of times by now. We don't need to. We don't need it drowning me out right now. <laughs> uh, good okay, so I think I see where this is going. Because <laughs> we've been here before. A couple times, cat, get out of there. I'm ignoring my cat. Now he's annoyed at me. You cautiously appro approach the ruthless businesswoman. <laughs> She is deployed the chest of merchandise. You say, you mean the hunger trunk? She acts like she doesn't even hear you. <laughs> You're about to launch into another wordy tirade, but she wants to cut the ch chat and get down to business. She has a proposition for you. What is it, you say? She wants to know if you would like to buy these motherfucking potions. <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, and, you know, Kanai is actually in the market for potions, potions of this description. <laughs> Being a rainbow drinker and all. You examine the businesswoman's wares with piqued curiosity, <laughs> to your surprise. Wait, 420 million per bottle? Isn't that a bit steep? She assures you that these are standard retail markups, plus the quality is impeccable. <laughs> Each potion is aged to, to perfection. <laughs> uh... Alright, well, let's start with Tavros's blood. <laughs> the businesswoman makes a little effort to hide the fact that this is a bottle of troll blood. I'm exactly a premium bit vintage, you remark casually, hoping to knock the price down a little. She isn't budging, though. Damn, she's good. By the bronze person. <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. You buy a few bottle bottles of Tavros blood. You will think fondly of his memories. You sl sl sip it in private where no one can see. Hey, it's not like you're proud of this habit. <laughs> See, does it say something, anything different when you click yes? No, it does not. Okay, so we'll only have to click on each of these once then. Good, very good. Fuchsia potion. 420 million boot bucks. She says this potion was once running through the veins of a former heiress. It's real good shit. <laughs> Doesn't cost any more than the others, though, because she knows that's all the same to you. She can spot somebody in need of her fix when she sees one. This woman is an absolutely ruthless hustler of contraband. <laughs> sure. <laughs> you nod in her direction ever so slightly and hold up two fingers. <laughs> she folks over 200 bottles. With a deep sigh, you slip her, you slip her the moolah. Bitch is going to send you to the poorhouse. <laughs> oh, oh, Kanaya. Oh, you poor vampire girl. Uh Indigo Potion! She says she doesn't recall whom this potion was bled from, but she doubts it matters to you. She palms the bottle and swirls the fluid enticingly. You suddenly imagine Equus and his gross, bodily, sweaty body and feel a, a little queasy. No, you absolutely refuse to buy this potion. You will not do it. Nope. No way. Yes. Why not? You buy a bunch of bottles and shamefully stash them with the others. Damn your lack of self-control. The businesswoman shakes her head slowly as she stuffs the cash in her hoodie. <laughs> uh, olive potion. She says this is supposed to be a love potion. Adding, trust her. It doesn't work. Probably tastes good to a weirdo like you, though. Want some? <laughs> you entertain a melancholy thought about dear Nepeta as you begin to salivate. <laughs> Absolutely. You say you guess you'll take one. She says, deal. Gives you a thousand? 
You say, huh? She says, don't worry about the extras. She'll put them on your tab. You say, thanks. She says, don't mention it. And then says, guess what? What? You say, time to settle up your debt. <laughs> you say, what? Just as she begins polishing her fork menacingly, you rumble a bit and dump uh, 240 billion boonies at her feet unceremoniously. Ah, oh, now this should be a familiar taste. <laughs> she says this is some D-bag's blood. She never met the guy, but she's heard some unflattering stories. She doesn't sound that ap- he doesn't- it doesn't sound that appetizing to you, but at least you won't feel this guilty about drinking it. Oh, the rationalizations that run through your mind- the mind of a thirsty blood drinker. Did you really just say that out loud? The businesswoman nods. Yeah. <laughs> you say you'll take a half dozen bottles? She says, sorry, she's only got one in stock. She says her wholesaler had a very limited supply. Seems like a lot of it was lost before she had a chance to har- before he had a ha chance to harvest it. You, you wouldn't know anything about that, would you? <laughs> she says while tapping her nose. You quickly change the subject. That's a really nice tiara she has there. Really, um, it's just really nice. Her eyes say thanks, but her face says, Look, I couldn't care less that you just killed it, that you killed Aridin with a chain... I couldn't care less that you killed Aridin with a chainsaw. <laughs> uh, Alright. Hey, Vriska. Again, sort of. She says this potion... Quote unquote, is supposed to make you lucky. She wouldn't know because she never drank any. Because she's not a vampire, she said, just to drive her point home. Mm-hmm. You say, glancing around uncomfortably. It doesn't make it doesn't matter though, she says. She says she makes her own luck now. You're too You're tuning out her lecture at this point. You're just eyeing that vial of delicious Vriska blood and reaching for your pocketbook. Please. <laughs> you thank the bit you thank the business woman for the transaction and Carcat is asking what the hell you two are doing over there? Are you buying shit from her? He demands to know what the fuck you could be buying. Is that... Are those little jars of blood? <laughs> he asks. Please tell me you're not buying blood from this lunatic. <laughs> you say no, of course not, and hide it behind your back. <laughs> oh, that's... Okay, that's adorable. I want to see fan art of that. <laughs> and the gold potion... Two for one deal on this gross mustard blood. She means potion. She pauses, looks at it, and shrugs. It says she means blood. Anyway, you want some? You know you want some. Yep. You say okay, you'll take two. She says that'll be 840 million. You say 840? What about the two for one deal? She says the two for one deal applies, but there's a mandatory 100% gratuity on tacked onto the bill. You sigh and cough up the dough. You cannot outfox Jane Crocker in cunning business practices. She is simply the best there is. <laughs> uh, well, <I> <laughs> uh, yep, you've... Well played. Well played, Jane Crocker. Well played. Uh, well, that's the end of that. See you, everybody.